but we have returned. Are you ready? Please stand for the national anthem. Bring the drums now. Oh, yeah. It's so good. It's so fucking good. <laughs> All right. I used to say that the Divinity Original Sin 2 soundtrack was my favorite game soundtrack. I think they've topped it. I think it's been topped. As much as I hate to say it, I, th I think this wins. Okay, let's go. Bear Whisper is waiting for us in the forest. We just met Karlak last stream, so Karlak has officially joined the party. I wasn't sure if I would gel with Karlak. From everything I've seen of her, from like trailers and things, I was like, oh yeah, she's gonna be like this badass barbarian. And yeah, I don't know, but she's so sweet. For a barbarian, she's so soft and sweet and squishy. And I had no idea she was gonna be this way. I thought she was gonna be a stereotypical barbarian. But no, she's just really sweet. Nothing beats the Dragon Age OST. <sighs> it's so good as well. I mean, especially the main Dragon Age theme, especially. Oh, and then Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy has some absolute bangers going on. Oh, hello everyone. Good to be back at camp. And the goodest boy is here too. Hello, goodest of boys. Everybody's low health. We got into some trouble last stream. Not that I ever get into trouble. I'm just gonna put my mouse back into wireless mode. Cable free playing, because I'm a pro gamer. Oh, and um, turn off the wave bird, because I don't want to waste that battery. All right. What the heck are we doing? Uh, everyone's dressed, so I think we're about to head out again. I've got some low health going on here, though. And some quite full inventories. Moving I have on. a question, by the way. Is this chest unlimited? Is it like a, a chest of holding? Can I put unlimited items in it? Because I have a lot of stuff at the moment, and I want to see if I can get rid of a lot of it. Any books and things I'm, I'm generally like chucking in my chest because I want to keep them so I can read them out loud on stream. I could just drag, I guess, if I open the chest properly. Ah, oh. Opening this game is like being enveloped in a warm hug for me. I'm just like, oh, so fucking good. Okay. Can you tell I kind of like Baldur's Gate? I don't know. Squirrel of Greece. I don't think there was actually anything in the strong box here. These are just things that I can mark to sell. Aaron was here. Aaron's soul was here, but it no longer is. I have taken that soul and transmuted it into its wispy form. Enjoy the immortality as well as your glorious ad free viewing and channel emotes. Welcome to the wisps. Good to have you. Don't worry, your soul's fine. I just converted the energy. We got some chips in here. Probably a couple of weapons that I can switch onto our characters. Mm -hmm. Spawn! How do you... Oh, add to wares. Is there a shortcut for add to wares? Because that would be super useful. If there was a shortcut for add to wares and send to camp, I don't know if there is. Let me look. Keybinds.
Local high jewelry and character sheet closed window. Alice of powers, inspiration. Quick load, reaction, shove, spellbook. No, not that I can see. Not that I can see. That would be amazing. <laughs> if I could just like quickly mark them all. Because you know me and my inventory management. Terrible. Not that I'm aware of, but you can multi-select, as in like shift drag. Oh god. Aha! Like this. Okay. So we can we can shift select all of them and then put them all into wares at the same time. Okay. I can already hear the sound of people typing on the YouTube bot being like, you can multi-select Dawn! <laughs> I hear you guys, I hear you, you've got me. You've done you've done good. I hear you. Even from the future, I can hear you. There we go. I've got a few things like just like random goblets and things. How do I deselect? There we go. And then a bottle. I don't think I need these rotten mushrooms. I mean, I could use them to throw at people, but. How's your inventory management going? Swimmingly. I'm greatly enjoying my inventory management. It, it brings me happiness in life. We do need to go back to a merchant soon and then I can get rid of all that. Okay, we've already talked to everybody in camp for today. So let's get going. Hey, well done. Is there a way to tell how far I am from getting drops? Kind of new to the whole thing. So if the little drops bar has disappeared at the top, well, if you go to your address bar and you just type in twitch.tv slash drops, then it will show you your progress on all the current drops that you're progressing on. Um, and you can have that open in another tab. That's what I do when I have drops counting down is I just keep it open in another tab and then I can see how far away I am. But good luck on the drops. Actually, you remind me that I need to add that to our title because people need to know we've got those juicy drops in here. Drops are on for the whole category, but if I don't have it in the title, people still ask. There we go. Boom. But that's the easiest way to check. Dawn's inventory, we don't talk about that. W what inventory? It's, it's perfect. Yeah, you can sort by type and weight. I, I did it by weight when I became encumbered and then just gave everything to uh, my <laughs> companion. Oh, hi there. How are you doing? Yes. Yes, darling. Um, oh, oh, you can feed on me tonight if you would like. My sweet. There is nothing <laughs> I'd like more. Oh, thank you. I'll come to you tonight. Ooh. When you're snugly wrapped in your bedroll and we can have a little privacy. Oh, thank you. And this time, I'll make sure I'm quiet. Um, we don't want to disturb your rest. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Later on, when we are at rest, I will eat you right up. Oh, yes, please. Just enough to give me strength and just enough to leave you wishing for more. I want to believe that he actually likes us. But I think he's using us. He knows what he has to do to get his blood. And he'll do anything to get his blood. And the fact that he's now saying he's going to creep in and take a little sucky suck whilst I'm sleeping. Very concerning. Very, very concerning. Because last time, I had to stop him from killing me. So... I'm kind of scared of going to sleep tonight, I'm not going to lie. Hi, boy! Hey, boy. Hope hey, you're Scratch. keeping well, friend. Thanks. Yeah. Ah, good boy. He's a really good boy. Yes, you are. I wish he talked when you were giving him cuddles. Like, he went, oh, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. A little bit left, a little bit right. Oh, yeah. Mm, just that. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. There were some Baldur's Gate launch week stats, and they tracked how many people petted Scratch. And it's in the hundreds of thousands. Thankfully, we, we've petted him a lot. He deserves it. He's best boy. Isn't it glorious? Karlak's fury is a wonder to behold. You two should fuck. You really should. Can you imagine Lazelle and Karlak? That's a power couple. I would be scared of them. Just what I need. Karlak's all fire and fury. I'd pray to the triad it doesn't consume her. 
I forgot Will was horny all the time now. I'll just check. He doesn't have anything What's to say. What's on your mind? Um, how you have the Final Fantasy logo on your chest. That's on my mind. Uh, but have a nice day. He doesn't have anything else to say. This entire game is horny. I mean, they do this on purpose. They knew what they were doing. Hey, Carlac. Hey, soldier. Hi. Oh my god, she's chat's favorite. Every time she comes up, chat's like, oh, Carlac, I love you. What does that infernal engine do to you? Guy named Gortash. Politician. Inventor. One of these wheeler dealer types who seems to have a finger in every pie. I guess I was naive to think everything he got up to was above board. What did I know? I saw a job, a good job, with people I liked, doing work I was good at. Sometimes I'm jealous of that girl. Oh, to feel so invincible again. No. Well, we know who Gortash is from the trailers. I am definitely backing Karlag up. If it comes down to it, she has my support. I'll start a revolution for you, baby. I got you. Lazelle's too abrasive for Karlag. Well, yeah, she's too kind of soft and nice. And I think she would struggle to understand when Lazelle doesn't mean to be harsh. But if they could work on that together, they'd definitely make a good couple. My party members don't hang out in their undies or less outfits. That's a dawn thing. No, 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 this is, this is default. Um, There's this default Astarian outfit. Um, Yeah, I didn't change anything. Oh, Starry, wake up. It's time for a beaty bitey. No, not tonight. Okay, all right. Oh, oh my God. He did. Bitch. Well, I said he could feast on me and he was like, oh, I'll try and be quiet so I don't wake you up and disturb your rest. And he didn't wake me. We slept and he had a little sucky suck. Feels a bit woozy. Minus one to attack rolls, saving throws, and most ability checks. Can we have a chat about this? Because if you're going to nearly suck me to death, I want to be aware of it. Need something? <laughs> I can literally tell him every night that he can feed on me. Okay. Back we go to the Risen Road. So Karlak, the people that tried to kill her, they made off on the road this way and she asked us to help her track them down. I think they're off by uh, the Githyanki patroller over there. Everything with Halsin is there. And to Karlak. Find the missing shipment. Decide what to do with the chest. Oh. Did I find the missing shipment? Uh -huh. but apparently stood on the missing shipment. I've got it on me. Oh, shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Let me look at my log. So many quests. The men hiding from the knolls were carrying a locked sealed chest. We could try to find its owner or just open it up and take what's inside. I mean, they're probably dead. Probably. Who has it? Let's go, kid. Wooden chest. Don't know who it belongs to. I don't want to upset anyone. have a little bit of evil in me if I just want to take it because they're probably dead but then look, look, look if they're alive we can always give the contents of the chest back to them there's no reason I have to keep whatever's in there uh starry you take this a second what now 
locked. Have you not got thieves tools, darling? You do! Alright, should I put it out for you? Where are you? I think I have to place it onto the ground near him and then he can open it. Oh, easy. He's so good at lockpicking, it's insane. Boom! 17. A little bit overkill there. There we go. What's inside? Oh! Reason's grasp. Ever vigilant. When the wearer chooses to end their rage, they gain 15 temporary hit points. Gale can absorb this item's magic. I think we know who that's going to, Karlak. That's for you. Okay, and then more thieves tools and uh, gold. Cool. Worth. Watch your back. I'm sure whoever actually owned that won't miss it. Yeah, we're just we're just borrowing it for a while, and Karlak borrowing those gloves is going to help us find the original owner. You know. So, uh, yeah. if we don't put those gloves on, we might not make it to actually finding them. Karlak needs an infernal mechanic to tune up the engine she has for her heart. There might be one nearby. I think we were going to check if the guy in the Emerald Grove was the, uh, the right kind of mechanic, but I doubt he is. If Yankee crashes over here, do we yeah, go into the goblin camp just yet? I do also want to do overgrown ruins. I know what's in there because I've been in there before, but I'm curious to see if there's any changes with early access. Let's go Druid's Grove. Check up on that situation for Karlak. Hi Raptor, welcome on in. Am I walking because I'm bloodless? Why are we why are we RP walking? Oh, I'm encumbered. <laughs> I'm cucumbered, everyone! I'll go sell some stuff in Druid's Grove, but for now. Someone else can take my rubbish. There you go. You can have that. Take let's take all this rubbish. Da -da 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 -da. Lovely. Oh, no, not quite. Oh, that's me. Okay. <laughs> I was moving moving things from the wrong character's inventory. Why did I think I was a Starian? It's because he keeps sucking me. He's messed with my brain. Starry, why? And then we can choose who gets the gloves very soon. Mmm, rotten cheese. Delicious. I've got so much gold. Should I maybe share that out between my party members? It does have a weight to it as well, so it's not that heavy. Underwear. Here you go, sorry. Another optional pair for you, my dear. Is that just a bucket? It is. Okay. Mark some more things for selling. Ew. Can I throw rotten cheese at my enemies? I'm going to have to try that next time. Also, I need to find a salami in game. So I can try the salami meta. Because you can wield salami as a melee weapon. It's great. Whee! Oh god. Why am I so heavy? What have I got that's so heavy? Wait. Oh. The supply sack. Ah. A bagwet. I mean, I can send those to my camp chest, I suppose. That's very heavy, so let's get rid of that. Yay, I'm no longer cucumbered. Hooray. Hey, N7. Welcome on in. Just popping in to say that I've been looking for a Druid playthrough on YouTube and I finally found yours! I'm gonna start watching it now. See you when I catch up. Okay, say hi to past me. Wish for a good day. I actually just managed to clip up part two. So that'll be up probably after stream tonight. 
Um, I just clipped it straight from Twitch, so the upload should be really quick. But thank you so much for watching over on YouTube. I hope you enjoy the madness that was that first stream. Warning, I was very, very excited during that stream. Like, I was just not with it because I was so hyped. You just yeeted someone from a tower? Hey, sounds like a normal Saturday night. I'm sure they enjoyed it. F5. So far, I've learned that in this game, one can be salami or cucumbered. Yes. And you can be salami and cucumbered at the same time. 10 hour first video. Yeah, we did a fun for the release of Baldur's Gate. It could have potentially been 48 hours, but in total with sleeping time, I think it was like 14, maybe 16 hours. It was mad. Also, hi, Mog. Where's my Moggit? Hello. Hi. Are you going to say hello to Trim? What? There you go. You are looking beautiful today. Yes, give them give them the cubic stare. They love that. Hi, everyone. I'm looking for the blacksmith. Wait, is she paralyzed again? You're an idiot. I literally, I freed her. Oh, no, she's just angry. She's just having an angry moment. I freed her from paralysis. There's a kitty cam too. Oh, of course, this is Moogle. She is my void child. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me, ever. She's glorious. Oh, hi there. Uh, we were wondering if you'd be able to help Karlak. I'm gonna talk to him as her. See what happens. Thought I sensed an infernal around here. Hello. But you aren't from Elderell. What's your story? I spent a good bit of time in the house. Enlisted against my will by the Archdevil Zariel. Same as you, I suppose, if you're from Elturel. The devils were delighted when your city was swallowed up. I thought they had you for keeps. Glad you got out. I got lucky. It looks like you did too. And... You brought some infernal machinery with you. Mm-hmm. A little gift from Zariel. Keeps me burning hot. Very hot by the smell of it. Might be burning out a piston ring. Oh, he knows. Leaking oil. Mind if I take a listen? Be my guest. But don't get too close or your eyes will melt shut. You really are burning up. Whoever put that engine together tried to house metallurgized demono valves inside a Ragnax alloy casement. Very risky. Shoddy job. I might be able to help. But I'd need infernal iron. And a prayer that my hammer will survive the work. That thing isn't meant to operate outside of Ernest. I'm not sure how much longer it'll keep running the way it's going. Will you be able to turn down the temperature a little? Worried I'm gonna go in for a handshake and singe someone's arm off one of these days. I'd worry about surviving the night first. But help one, help both. If we can cool you off, it'll stabilize your engine and allow you to touch whomever you please. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I wonder who Karlak will choose to touch. Probably one of you in chat because chat's very smitten with her. Oh, please don't touch me. I'm so hot. I would kill you. No, baby. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm a fire for you, Karlak. Yeah, one of her horns is broken off. And when we were searching for her, Will called her one horn. That's that's how he knew it was her. Where should we look for infernal iron? I've sensed some during our travels. It has a, a pull to it. Absolutely magnetic, once you know what you're looking for. I can show you where I'd look. Okay. I'll keep our eyes open for some iron. Meanwhile, I've still got plenty of weapons and armor in stock if you're looking to load up. Okay, Doc. What have you got? I'll take this gold, please. How much for this stack of gold? 
Ooh, he does have some good stuff, actually. I know what everybody's wearing. That's quite nice. She's not proficient with uh, heavy armor, is that? How long until Ronan shows off his thunder wave? Aren't you wearing heavies? How many people Maybe not. To ask? <laughs> True. Plus one bonus for dexterity. Surely she wears heavy armor, right, as a barbarian? I never play melee classes, so... But I figured she'd be in kind of heavier, thicker gear. Ooh, a golden short sword. No secrets! I don't think so. Hmm. I need a nice staff. He doesn't specialise in that kind of thing. But Baring's thing is kind of wearing no armour at all. Gaining maximum AC from their skills. Poof. Medium to max. Medium max. And depending on stats, might be better without armour at all. Okay. Naked Karlak running around. Causing hell and being on fire. Let's go. Yeah, I've not played a barbarian. Um, I've done warrior for like a one shot once. But I've never had a barbarian in my actual party in D&D. So I'm not super familiar with them. So Karlak's going to be an interesting one for me. That's also why there are a lot of plays with no armor that give specific barbarian special effects. Ooh. Okay, that sounds like fun. Forged from the heart. I like this blacksmith. Who uses wooden tools? Wonder where we're going to find a fan lion. Haha! -ha. Maybe there. Um. No spoilers. Maybe, maybe there. <laughs> it does actually tell you where to go. Return to Zevlor. I, I think we need to go and um, find Halston first, though, because he's going to have some solutions. Well, we could head this way. So whether to do overgrown ruins now or later, I think I might do it because I know that there's something in there that would be very, very useful. So where let's to? do it. Who do we want to take with us for this, though? Uh, we've got Gale, Astarian. Stealth is good in here. I'll keep Karlak. Star, are you coming, darling? Well, what are you doing? Oh, you're still loitering around here. Oh, for Christ's sakes. Come on. Dear. We can't make do without you, darling. There we, there we go. Now, everybody group up again. Pretend you like each other. There we go. Let's be quick. I'd love to, thanks. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. What okay, so we're gonna. Break? Astarian should be able to get Don't in here this way, because he's crazy good luck, babe. Come on. Twenty. Oh, thank God he's OP at lock picking. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Oh yeah, me too. Is that blood? No, never mind. There's a trap. Okay. Everyone, hide. And Starry, you're going to show us what a rogue is made of. A proper rogue. Okay, Star. Show him how it's done, pretty boy. So this entire room is trapped. I'm pretty sure this is the room with flamethrowers in as well. Nice. You don't even need those bonuses, but well done. So proud of you. Okay, so it's disarmed. Let's have a little look around here. Having turn-based mode in this room is very useful, so I'm gonna trigger it if I can. There we go. Okay. So that is now off. I'm trying to remember where all the oh, other ones are. I like it. Homely. Homely. Oh, a nice trap. Very homely. Oh, to have a trap in one's abode. Does it get better than that? Not enough movement. Oh, yes, I have to go through all the turns, don't I? Environmental turn. So if anything was going to happen in the environment, it happens now. 
but we're good. Okay, and then Starry gets to go again. I think the actual sarcophagi is trapped, so let's just do that. A trap. Hey. <laughs> oh my, a trap, eh? Could you be disarming that, please? Perception failed. Oh no. That's the worst thing to see. Oh, there's something there which I saw but also didn't see. After watching your playthrough, it makes me beware of what I missed on my playthrough or what changed. It's insane how many branches are possible in Act 1 alone. There's so much. And also, it depends on the order you do things in because depending on the amount of long rest that you have, days pass and things change in some of the locations. Like the whole thing with the owlbear. I took a long rest, I came back, and the owlbear mum was dead. So, yeah. Can I disarm it? Why can't I disarm? Ah. Do I need a trap disarm kit? Am I out of trap disarm kits? Butts. Okay, let's keep on moving. Yeah, no, I can't disarm anymore. Okay. Attention. Guess I've used my action for this turn as well. Nilfgaard. Did she say something about Nilfgaard? I swear she just said something about Nilfgaard. I've been watching too much Witcher. Let's get this over with. Oh, I can do it. I was just out of actions. Okay, good to know. Let's go to summit. Starry OP. I've only got one trap disarm kit now, though. Is this a waste of disarm kits, maybe? Let's get moving, though. Traps. How considerate. Oh, lovely. Now I know all the shit starts going down when you open this. I love to, thanks. So maybe I loot these before we have to try and get out. Maybe I should stay crouched forever. Oh, a scalabro. There's nothing on him. Discount scalabro. Make our way over here. Perception failed. Excellent. The environment is thinking and it says, no, I will not take a turn. Gently. Gently now. Right. Oh dear. Someone's left a trap out for us. Oh no. How rude. Right. Next turn. Making me sweat. And the environment's turn. I did this part before everything else with a party of three, for example. Getting Karlek was after the whole goblin camp slash grove shenanigans. Ah, so you got her later on. When I did my early access playthrough, this was where I came first. I'm, I got in, I went up the hill and then I encountered that group on the top of the tomb. And then I went down from there. And it was, it was a baptism in fire coming through here after just finding like the first two party members. Oh, right. You have a loot with that, darling. No, that's all right, isn't it? Take, take whatever that is. Right. I want you to loot this as well. There are traps about. Traps? You don't say. Oh, a soul coin. These coins can power infernal engines. An iron coin. There you go, Carla. Problem days. solved. Right. Let's go ask for trouble. Don't be shy. Oh, Karlak has something to say after that. I'm gonna leave turn base for a second and see if we can talk to her now. So, I can have a chat with her, I think. Maybe. So, hey, oh. we've got this soul coin, right? Yeah. Thing is, I think I can use it. Oh. My engine can, anyway. Nice. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Sweet. So it buffs you, basically? Aren't you afraid this will overload your engine, though? Nah. It'll be fine. Mm. Got a coin slot in your heart, or what? Sort of. Okay. Next time we find ourselves toe-to-toe -to -toe with something we want to squash drop a coin in see what happens just drop a coin in and it starts doing like arcade tunes doo -doo 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 -doo. i wonder if i can get a high score 
I'm not sure this is a good idea. A soul coin belongs to whoever's soul created it. Believe me, I know that better than most. Oh, but the I vast, am. vast majority of soul coins are put to use by devils. Better for us to use them in the fight against evil. Okay. Next time we're in a mad battle, you'll see. If something wicked can be put to proper use, that's a good thing. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Thanks. Have some fun. Oh, this beat is sick. I want to take a ride on a disco stick. Absolutely. There we go. Okay, turn base. A quick rummage. Oh, no. A perception <laughs> fail. Someone's left a trap out for you. You don't say. It. Take it and run. Take it. What does this say? The text on the plaque is a mystery to you. I wonder if a wizard could read it. All right. Well, this seems fine. I don't know why nothing's exploding at me yet. I was pretty sure this whole thing was trapped, but um. Fine with me. Let's march. You guys gonna come over here? What to do? That's a lot of failed These perceptions. Have seen everything. These pits are made for walking. Watch how you go. Oh. There's a trap. You even did a synopsis of Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 for us noobs. I did! It's not uploaded on YouTube yet, but it is in the VOD here on Twitch. Oh, he was just in the wrong place in front of the pillar. Okay. Okay. I say we dash and we just get everyone through here. Wait, 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 Gail, you idiot. You have missed your step. Boom. Gail's done. He made it. Cheater. There we go. Ah, oh, yeah. Through the fire. Through the fire and flames. Okay. All right, Kalak. You can be pretty speedy when you want to be. Wow. I just... Run up to... I think here is safe? Gotta check it from this side. Uh, you should be safe here because there's a pillar there. And then if you crouch... I don't know if you can crouch. Oops. Oh well, she might get hit. Taking my time in the shadows. In the shadows. Wonder if the gods are watching. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Oop. Oh, come on. Oh, well. Carlac like, blocked it for me, at least. I'm not feeling so good. I'm not feeling so hot. Enhance leap. Triple a creature's jumping distance. Could I? It's a level one transmutation, so that would be a spell slot, but I can give it to Carlac like, so she can jump over there. I need a moment for the two Feels like a bit of a waste, so I'm just going to sprint. It's not far. I can make it this turn. I've seen everything. Trap. Be cautious. Ooh. All right, Gail, darling, you wait here. And sprint you along. Got time for me, darling. Don't trip in that oil. Don't do it. Don't do it. There you go. Everyone made it. Great success. F5. Ooh, yeah, ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, move, move, move. Gail, what are you doing? Run. Is everyone okay? Let's just leave. Let's just leave. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, Starry, you can rejoin the party. Just, yeah. Uh. There you go. Well, well, well. You know, I think it's worth maybe taking a short rest here because that was very stressful. Let's just, let's take a short rest. Although, before that, don't I have like a spell I can use? Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Technically, I could, I could do, how many spell slots do I recover on a short rest? Warlocks restore spell slots. Oh, only Warlocks restore. Okay. Bell. <sighs> There's some hit points. We're full health again now. Anything in this room? Just hear the traps going off in the background. Oh my god. With haste. A gilded chest. Trap. Trap. F5. I'm watching you do it on your VOD on YouTube. What, my old VODs? Oh, or like the 
uh, this the synopsis thingy. I I see what you mean. Ah, I don't want a jug. I don't want a jug. Drop it. Thank you. Well, just a bunch of stuff to vendor. can never press F5 enough times. Bear Whisper has taken the engraved key from Astarian using magic pockets. That's what it was for. Ha ha ha. Oh God, I remember this. Everyone stealth. Get your asses down. I don't want to hear any pitsy prattle footsteps going on. Okay, okay. Move carefully. Armed scribes, but no sign of a struggle. <laughs> I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. I wonder. I would light the candles, but I think I'm gonna want to stay stealthy in here. You should mind my step. Mind your step. Oh, a chest. Something good here, I hope. There are some tricky fights down here as well. Did we loot him? Let's check. Ooh. Is that a fireball scroll? Heck yes. Another scribe over there. you do do not trigger any traps don't do it open up heavy key ha 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 let's get this chest i hear something glowing as well okay hop down here look at that jurgle the scribe of the dead this chapel must be ancient. It is indeed. And very haunted. You can tell how nervous I am of a situation by the amount of times I press F5. Can we look at this lovely statue? No. But he already noticed it. He knew something about it. If you drop a coin into Karlak, she starts singing Barry Manilow. <laughs> can we change the tracks as well? Like, can we switch it up? Okay, over here. Follow me. Toss a coin to your car. Hmm. There's a button here. That's curious. That is so curious. I wonder what will happen if we press the button. On an unrelated note, uh, can our ranged characters please find somewhere up high to stand? Uh, I don't know where the best place is here, honestly. Uh, probably, probably up here, to be honest. Split the party and then sorry you can get sneaking around not that anything is going to happen whatsoever mm -mm. all right sorry boy let's get you somewhere useful okay probably this corner over here just go chill over there are you there yet starry did you make it it's taking his time there we go all right f5 <laughs> Hmm. Let me now press this totally not ominous button. Oh no! I never 
saw this coming. Kill surprise. Oh, Something just woke up. Okay. They are awake and they were never dead in the first place. Okay, my turn first, I think. Soldier. Or are me and Karlak on the same turn because we got surprised at the same moment. I don't think they've seen oh, us yet. So, Starry should really go in and take advantage of that. Are you even stealthing, bro? Bro. Range sneak attack on this guy. They're going to know where he is and they're going to start coming towards him, but... Boom! Down in one! 16! Headshot! And he did that from stealth, so he's still stealthed. And he can get into position for next turn. Or where should I take him where he's not going to be seen? I think if I take him that back here... And then we'll we'll hide just here until next turn. Hopefully, not in line of sight. Maybe he might have to pass a check. Okay, it's their turn. The We're story? still out of our turn order. Oh, they saw it. They did see him. Okay, 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 okay. Hold up, hold up. Karlak's gonna run in, I think. Oh no! Sorry, sorry, boy. Sorry. Wait, let us get in on the combat. Holy Shit. <laughs> Ah! Get him! Get him! Wait, I'm staying here, Karlak. Separate from the party. There you go. She's still hiding, apparently. Yeah, Karlak's in on the combat. Come on, Gale. Get your ass into combat. Get your ass into gear. Most excellent. Move him a little bit closer. And then... I feel like we should grease up this floor if we can. I need to make it a lot closer to do that, though. Okay, climb up here. Don't think there's any skeletons over here, so we can take you this way. Greasy grease. You know how much I love grease. I use it in like every situation possible. Let's go with that. Surprise grease, motherfuckers! Get greased. I'm gonna be greasier than a Macadies burger by the time I'm done with you. Flame grilled. Okay. Uh, I kind of want to do a moonbeam. Haven't done that for a while. <laughs> Whee! Right. You're going to do it? Oh. Failed save and boom, down they go. Okay, currently Starry's turn. He can't do a sneak attack because he is not stealthed. Which is awkward. I think you should bite them. Reduce movement because of Ray of Frost. Can I not get close enough, really? Oh, they're undead, of course. <laughs> There's no juice to be had. They're dead. Mmm, let me take a nice bite out of that bone there. Mmm, delicious. No wonder. Piercing strike? It won't do much, because, again, he doesn't have flesh. And an offhand hit. This is probably going to hurt him next time, though. Who dares disturb our slumber? In Team Scribe, cast Ray of Frost on Gale. In Team Scribe, needs a lamb to hit. They rolled 21. <laughs> no, they're going to roll one. <laughs> so Gale does a bit of time magic. So whenever an enemy casts a spell or we cast a spell and it goes wrong, then uh, we can redo it. Not even just spells as well, like with saves, I get to do that too. So they rolled 21 to hit me and I just got to say, mm, no, you didn't, you rolled a one. I love it. All right. I should probably disengage. They make horrible noises. Oh. Ah! <laughs> Can you do ranged attack as well on the same turn? No. Okay. You stay there. Time to push my luck again. I can move my moonbeam, can't I? Um. How do I move my moonbeam? You can use an action to move the beam. Yeah, but how? 
How do I? Oh. Move, Moonbeam. But I can't because I don't have an action at the moment. Okay. Uh. Shalala! Shalala! And let's go help Sorry, He needs it. Let's go with fire, baby. All right, Karlak. Go defend Starry's honor. Just make it close so you can body block. There you go. Little smidge that way. Oh, she can't. Shove him. <laughs> nah. Unleash me. I will unleash you, Gail. Yeah, I think they've all got some kind of thing on them where their actions are depleted. Why? Why? He can misty step but not do anything else. <sighs> Damn it. And he can't use his cantrips either. Welp, that's fun. Onward. I'm going to move into the light because I don't think they like the light either. Oh, critical miss. Nice try. <laughs> Attack of opportunity. There you go. All right, Starry, let him have it. Ah, oh, fail. Oh, you could have ended him then. Nothing important is ever easy. Disappoint me. Okay, let's move my moonbeam. Oh, okay, perfect. All right, then. Boom! God, Moonbeam is powerful. Don't waste a step. Can't really do too much for now. Put him up. But Carla can. All right, what's your biggest smack? Oh, he's only got seven health. Don't overkill. <laughs> That's a spell. I don't want to waste it. Uh... Smash him. Oh, one health left. Come on. We're going to shove as well. Yeah. Mistra Rill. All right, Gail. Can you do something useful now? Or are you going to continue being useless? Fire is always good for undead. And then... If you couldn't like get behind a wall or something so they don't kill your step ass, by step. that would be great. <gasps> Ray of Frost. They need 11 to hit. They rolled 14. No, you didn't. You rolled a six. Sucker. Ha ha. I love this already. It's so good. And he's not even high level. End him. <laughs> Starry, why are you missing? What's wrong with you? What is it? What's throwing you off your game? Was it was it the sucky suck last night? It's distracted you. Give in. It should be making you even better. Oh, darling. Cutting to the chase. <laughs> Yay! Probably the hat. Yeah, the lack of fashion. Mm. It's offended him deeply. Okay, gonna get behind here. This is gonna feel. Good. Oh right, Carlac, fuck him up. Probably could have moved my moonbeam again that turn, but heck, let's go. No surrender. Don't slip in the grease. Please mind your feet. Elf in safety. Thank you. Rough tempest I will raise. Go on, raise some tempest. Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Oh, that's that's. Oh, ah, woo, ah, woo, ah. Excellent. Mine is the advantage. <laughs> Boom! Even after death. <gasps> They're unthinking cadavers. I may as well feel sorry for a bread basket. I do feel sorry for bread baskets, especially when they're empty. There's nothing more sad. That fight was so much easier than in early access. Oh my god, I wiped so much trying to do that on early access. I guess maybe we can say that I'm a much better player. Maybe that's what happened, definitely. They didn't balance the fight to uh, be appropriate for everyone. It's just that I'm so good at video games. Okay, and we already looted them, so we don't get any loot. Still breathing, despite everything. Let's go have a look in that room. Come 
Come on, party. We're going for walkies. Yeah, poor tent are amazing. A lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. Hmm, I wonder why. Amulet of Lost Voices. Gives you speak with dead. Level 3 necromancy. Useful to have. Gail already can do it as a spell. But for anyone who can't, they can just put it on. F5. Hmm, I wonder what's in here. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. Hmm. Touch it, Gail. Good morning. Sorry to disturb you. This is your morning wake up call. I miss you. Oh, we've got a special so cutscene. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me, right as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? 60 pence. Same price as a Freddo. Quite the question. What's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What here are you talking about? A little bit spooked by the crawling out the tomb bit. Who are you? Uh, yeah, who's the he who you're talking about? An arbiter of certain matters but that is not important now wilt thou answer my question mayhaps uh, ask away so i ask again what is the worth of a single mortal life no one's life is worth more than any other we are all equal that depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is his currency. Doesn't matter to me otherwise. Evil choice. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal. Um, I'm gonna be a goody two-shoes. Each life is of infinite value and merits sacrificing everything for. And thus, Balance is achieved. Oh, he liked that. If all are at war, none can win. Very wise. Very well. Oh. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. I know thy face, and you know mine we from early access. We will see each yes. other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Wait, come back. Come back. Let us confirm. Okay, okay. Don't we leave have nothing me. Nothing more <laughs> to discuss. Continue on my way. As if I were not here. All right. I must attend this place after so many years away. We will see each other again. The fates have foretold Soon. it. Aye, aye. Soon is rather vague. When exactly? I need to add it to my calendar. When the time is proper. I do not know that hour any more than dost thou. But I do know that the longer thou standest here, the farther away our second meeting becomes. Fair enough. Can I just keep bothering him, like, as he walks away? <laughs> We hey, have nothing hey, more to hey. discuss. Are we there yet? Hey. Continue on my way. I mean, you foretold we would meet again. How did you know it wasn't now? I must like immediately after we this talked place to you. After so many hey, years listen. Away. Hey, hey. We will see each other again soon. Okay. 
You better not follow me. There will be consequences. You seem very certain of that. How exactly? The mechanics of fate would be difficult to explain to one such as thyself. No, I'm a time wizard. Regardless. I know about these things. It will occur. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me just look around the rest of his tomb and well, see. hello. Hello, darling. See if there's anything else for me. Can't slow down. You're saying you didn't have any other loot in here. Oh, a soul coin, 99 gold, and witch bolt scroll. Don't mind if I do. Already looted the chest in here as well. Ah, the chocobo mug. Iconic. It is glorious. I love me the chocobo mug. Do you use your spell slot with that neck? Uh, I'm thinking yes, but it would give the spell to anyone who didn't already have it. I think is the deal. So maybe it would free up a spell slot for Gale? Elminster's not around, so it might as well. So we could unlearn it, and then as, as long as we're wearing the necklace, we can do speak with that. We should definitely touch it. Nothing bad can happen. Chained up, you say? Um, sorry, don't touch it. Just very lightly. What a mess the ages calls. Oh, hi. Hello. Are you just kind of musing over there? Are you going to contribute? No. All right. Okay. Such a mess. How for a skeleton key? He never fails. He's so good at log picking. I love him. See, this is why he's the obvious choice. Alright. No rest for the wicked, I Gale, think. you're a wizard, aren't you? Go and have a look. You know about magic. Let's see. <gasps> what am alone? Hello! It's good to see you. How are you? I hope everything's been going well in the human world for you. Have you played any Baldur's Gate yet? Because apparently Baldur's Gate has launched now. It, it happened so fast. The names of dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken through. The final three, thoroughly enough to be completely illegible. Gale's inspired. Oh, yay. You're welcome. Because oh. he's a sage and he wants to learn knowledge. Scroll of Enfeeblement. Can we take it? Like, I can't read the names, but I can, uh, I can pick it up. Okay. Damn, it's good to be alive. Isn't it just... Not as bad as it could have. I've already looted this. What's in here? Take all of that. Oh, income. I'm cucumbered again. We should have gone back to Druid's Grove before we came here and sold more stuff. <laughs> I'm so cucumbered. That was really heavy, though. Hey, good looking. Hey, uh, how's it going? I got some scale mail I thought you might be interested in. I thought I sent it to you. Oh, there we go. 14 armor class. AC bonus from dexterity limited to plus two. Disadvantage on stealth checks? Not that you really care that much. You can pop that on. I liked your other armor better. Leather gloves. Oh yeah, these gloves. They help your rage. Oh, they're really furry. Ooh. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of the skin of a kiwi. Weird. But kind of cool. 
What have you got? A great axe, one to twelve. It's definitely better than Come anything on, else I can give go. you. Been doing well. There's a lot been going on. I've just started playing today. Yes. Enjoy. Have you decided on a, a character yet? Or are you still in character creation? Because I was there for like three hours. <laughs> Even though I'd played before. Why am I kind of wondering if there's any other secrets? But mm, it very helpfully says chasm. So I, I don't think there's any going down there. Always curious though. Gloves of the fabled Kiwi. Okay. And then I know that this is an exit up the ladder from here, but I'm just going to have a look around by the water. Took me an hour. Went for tiefling sorcerer. Heck yes. I do love me a sorcerer. That was my probably my second choice, but Druid ended up winning my heart. Is that like a ladder exit? You can pull this down and get out. Ooh, mind yourselves. Okay. But I'm going to go the other way because I know there's more. Everyone's doing okay for health, apart from Starry. Back to the main chamber. Oh my god. The traps are still going off. All right, everyone. Get down. Shh. Shut up. We're going in. Take care with the romance. I got bugged out for romance because of a bug with Will coming onto me and cancelling out my tiefling warrior. So he came onto you and then the game was like, ah, oh, they obviously like Will and kind of say that as your romance option. I got early access, but I didn't play because I wanted to wait until I could experience it fully. Seems like it's changed a lot in a really nice way. Yeah, like a lot of times I know what's going to happen, but the ways to get there are different now. And there's multiple options. Oh. Oh yeah, that party that's up there. Looking for treasure. Uh, left or right first? This way, I think. Starion? Do the honors, please, Starry. Impossible to lockpick, damn it. And it's sturdy. So I think in order to get it down, we have to do more than 24 damage in a single turn. Hmm. Well, maybe the lock is this, this way. Find a key. No posture check. Ugh. I'm kind of sat up straight today. Kind of. Moogle, posture check. Posture check. She says she doesn't care. She's sleeping. I don't know how she finds that comfy because she's asleep in that all the time. And her little body is curled around in a tiny void egg. Hydrate as well. Thank you. Cheers! She's very sleepy. Life is very, very tiring for a cat. Dank crypt. Wait, isn't this where I came from? Wait, 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 wait. Is this where I came from? So therefore... Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. God, I need a drink. Isn't this where you fall down? Oh, maybe that's not where you fall down. Interesting. Okay, so I, I do have to go out the front way in order to access this bit. Mm. And I can't leave that way. Okay. Let's look sussy wussy. Let's see. All right, let's get up the ladder. And then we'll go and mess with the adventures. Can't wait until I can afford to get this game. It's so worth it. It will bring you many years of enjoyment, I'm sure. Oh no, did the main character and Imowen have a Luke and Leia moment in Baldur's Gate 2 before they realised they were half-siblings? 
kind of they were very close friends growing up like childhood friends so kind of like brother and sister already but then yeah a little bit of a little bit of a luke moment as far as i know it's funny though a lot of people found Imowen really annoying in their playthrough so basically just like didn't do anything with her because she was annoying <laughs> how rude my tiny little toy poodle's fast asleep on my desk. <gasps> Hello. Sleep well, tiny doggo. Okay, so we come up just out here, which is just by the ruins, I think. And if we climb up here, Survival failed. Oh. I don't know what it is, but I picked That's it up. Curious. Oh! Ashes of Balsam. Cool. Thank you. I need to get on my potion making soon, because that could come in useful. Leave and leave us nothing. Haven't seen anyone but us. It's just wilderness. Out. Yeah, there's no one out here. Uh <laughs> Hmm Oh Historia Quietly now stepping softly Now my pretty just a case of whether you have the range for it dear Oh Oh you need to get a little closer do you Oh you oh, both shit. twice as tall as me, but I'm half the bloody backbone! Succeeded. But we don't know what that thing even is. Did they see And what me? about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship. And the crypt can wait. Mari and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we... Stop! Hello. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. I mean no harm, I'm just looking around. That ship is full of monsters. I wouldn't go near it. I think that ship's an invasion force. Run while well, you still can. Just grin, baring your fangs. I mean, he gets a plus one from Happy because he's fed. I kind of want to do this. <laughs> I get advantage as well. Run for your life, darling. Lovely to meet you. Simply charming. Give them a good grin. Well, uh, in that case, come on, you lot. No point in getting killed. Second worm gets the cheese and all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese, no? Yeah. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. All right, bye. Good work. See ya. Thought we had a fight on our hands. Yeah. Nicely done. Over there. Aced it, Starry, and all you had to do was smile. Time and the elements have left the plaque unreadable. Ah, a shame. Anything else out the front that I missed? Don't think so. All right. Okay, let's go have a look around. Nobody's down on that yet. Dragon egg mushroom, delish. Ooh, ashes of dragon egg mushroom. Ooh. Does it tell us what it does until we've done it? I don't think so. Ooh. Okay. Let's know. Better make my next move. Come on then. No need to sneak. We've scared them off. On my way. Hey, Scree. Welcome to Baldur's Gate Madness. Ooh, ooh. Why does me kind of feel like I can get on top of that pedestal? I don't know why I'd want to, but I'm tempted. The camera doesn't even go that high. So maybe not. Okay. Heavily nose around. And there's another entrance here. 
And then this goes back out to the trade camp. Who wants to do the honors? I feel like you should get the chance to do it, Starry, because uh Yeah. You've you've worked hard recently. There we go. Keep your distance, darling. Made ourselves a little opening. No one stopped me yet. F5. Have to keep going. You know you say you're an elf. Can you speak elvish? This I get asked quite yeah. often, and... Oh! Um... I'm ashamed to say I don't know much Elvish. I haven't lived in the Elven Forest most of my life. My parents both study humans, as a job. So we've moved around the human world quite a bit. And the Elders here are shocked at my lack of Elvish, but I can say Mega Vanon. To be honest, not a lot of elves actually speak Elvish anymore. Oh, I wish it was Gail's turn. Victory is assured. Gail, I wish it was your turn. Um, but Karlak, do you want to maybe like throw a poison bowl or something? Cheese! Throw the cheese! Oh, <laughs> oh that didn't work as well as I'd hoped. I think if it hits them, it also like it makes them stink. Which is some kind of drawback to it. <laughs> you gain Frenzy Strike and Enraged Throw. I wonder if that means that I can throw cheese with more damage. Let's turn someone inside out. Oh, lovely starry. Uh, you should really be sneaking, darling, but there isn't much of an opportunity for that. So let's just hit him where it hurts. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> And leave it at that, I think, sorry. Come on, can't stay idle. Okay. I am going to see if I can entangle them in the doorway. There we go. And... Can I throw anything at them? I want some mushrooms or something. I had some, like, moldy mushrooms. Rotten mushrooms. There we go. I can throw them next turn, I think. But it's their turn. Oh! Ow! Okay, Gail. You know what I need you to do? Grease him up, boy! Oh, yeah. Nice and greasy. Love to see it. Love to see it. Okay. And I'll try and use some kind of fire spell when I can. Set that on fire. Now there are, there's a candelabra here, so I could light the candelabra and then throw the candelabra. Ah! Oi! Oh, this hurts. I forgot how much this hurts. Uh, sorry, can you light this for me? I know it's kind of an impractical time, but uh, light some candles. Yeah, okay, and then your athletics is not great, but I believe in you, Starry. Oh. Woohoo! <laughs> that is a classic rogue move. Just the throwing an entire candelabra. Excellent. If you can help Gale next turn, that would be very useful. Woohoo! Well, that's fun, isn't it? I love how you can interact with everything in the environment. Only poison for Starry to coat his weapon in. Oh, hello. Oh, it's a spear. It looked like a dagger. Uh, boy, poisson. Uh, I think it's in another inventory if we have any. Some uh, poisson! We are being raided! Defend your queen! Lugal! Attack! Moogle, wake up. Attack Panther, activate. No? We've talked about this. You're supposed to defend me when the raid comes in. 
that's sleeping, Mog. That's sleeping. You probably can't even tell there's a cat there, but there is a small curled up void. Hello, welcome on in everyone. Any friend of Mary's is a friend of ours. Welcome to the chaos that is Baldur's Gate 3. I know Mary was starting her playthrough this weekend. Was today the day? Have you finally joined us on the Baldur's Gate choo-choo train? I fucking love this game. So you just missed it, but I got my wizard to grease up the floor in this room. And then I got Astarian to light a candelabra that was in the corner and then shock a candelabra into the grease. Like he just threw the entire candelabra and it set the doorway on fire. So cool, so cool. Not yet, I only made my character last night. Look, if you don't spend at least three hours in character creation, it's not a real bad escape playthrough. So I, I'm proud of you. I bet you went for like some kind of sorceress of some kind, knowing you. And like probably quite dark in the vibe. Some like face tattoos probably. Red hair, maybe, maybe. But hello everyone, if you're brand new, it's great to meet you. I love Mary's community, so I feel so honored that you're here. We play lots of RPGs. I'm currently playing through Baldur's Gate 3, obviously. I've been so excited for this game for years. So I'm a big Larian fangirl and just loving Baldur's Gate 3 so far. We did play in Early Access, so I've played quite a bit. I did two playthroughs in Early Access, but being able to play full release is just, oh, it feels so good. It's a very emotional experience for me because I've seen this game go from the early, early, early stages of Early Access to what it is today, which is an absolute masterpiece, at least so far, in my opinion. So I've loved it so far. I'm a low sworn drow ranger. Ooh. I actually did my hair. Ooh, fashion. And uh, yes, a very dark elf character. Low sworn drow ranger. Ooh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Are you going to go evil? Are you going to be making some questionable choices? Apart from Baldur's Gate 3, whenever I can pull myself away from Baldur's Gate 3, I play lots of MMOs, so you might have seen me if you've been on the Elder Scrolls Online category before. We've played lots of Elder Scrolls Online, Guild Wars 2, Final Fantasy XIV Online. I'm doing my first playthrough of Ocarina of Time at the moment and of Dragon Age Inquisition. So if that sounds like fun to you, come on in. Grab yourself a slice of Lembus toast. You're in for a wild ride today. This is going to be a time being down here. It's quite difficult down here. I think you should bite him. Yeah. And that makes Starry happy as well, which which we like. Oh Starry God. is my boy. Okay, you should probably help Gale up. There we go. And get Gale some healing soon. But it's time for Shalala. And then I'm just going to chill here till this next is time. My happy place. Oh my god, he has so much health. Okay, I'm gonna use Legacy of Avernus. And I'm gonna... Oh! Slay, Karlak! Slay! Oh, she's amazing. I love her. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to see what the Karlak romance is like. Who's everybody's favorite Baldur's Gate character so far? Okay, and turn. They're running away now. They're scared. Scared for their lives. That could still hurt, though. Okay, Gale. He can't do anything. He's injured as well. Do you have a potion of healing? Okay. I've got all of these, so... Have one of those, Gale. And then go and stand in the corner and think about what you've done so that you can't get into trouble next turn. Ah. Oh, Karlak's better than Astarian any day. How oh, dare you. <laughs> the Sent into Avernus is a prequel to Baldur's Gate 3, so it's loosely tied into the Critical Role campaign one. Yeah, you can consider it a kind of prequel. Um, this is still 100 years after all of the stuff that goes on. So if you've played Baldur's Gate 1 and 2, it's 100 years after, which is quite a while. Got him. All right, sorry. You better hide over here. Where do I go from here? And then, oh, my health. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, 
What now? I'm gonna try and pull them in closer Another with Thorn Whip. Ah, oh, I could have pulled them through the fire. Sad times. I'm also gonna hide in the corner. Heating up. All right, Karlak. Do you have a ranged weapon? You do. You've got a crossbow. Very nice. Got him. Okay. You're doing okay health-wise? Close at hand. Oh no, I'm hurting. Whoa. Oh, Magnus. Magnus, thank you so much for giving the soul of Mary. I hope you don't mind Mary, but I have taken your soul. In return, though, you get to be immortal for another month. Wait, is this the first time I've taken Mary's soul? Lovely, a fresh soul. I will keep it very safe. You are now a wisp, a brightly shining ball of pure soul energy. I just converted your soul energy into life energy, which means that you get immortality for the next 30 days. It's a, it's a very simple bit of magic. Oh no. What happened, Sin? My shadow heart got bugged after I romanced her. She was hostile after a fight and I had to leave her. That happened to me with the dog in camp in early access. Like the dog was suddenly hostile for no reason. It was attacking everyone. So yeah. Moo was like, new cell, I need to check it out. Gotta go get that one a sniff. She's off to investigate. I had no idea Twitch were gonna feature us for cat day as well, Mary. I was like checking through our notifications the other day and was like, wait, what? Wait, Twitch UK in Ireland and they tagged me? What's going on? I mean, marry meowing at the end of that clip is the most glorious thing ever. But yeah, Moogle was, Moogle was featured as well. And Jagger looking resplendent as always in those clips. If you want to see not only a beautiful person, but a beautiful cat, Mary's stream is the place to go. Amazing streamer. One of my favorite humans and plays all sorts of games over on their channel and has a very beautiful cat. If you needed anything else to sway you, Jagger's are an absolute licker. Oof, seven health. Just gonna be chugging potions. There we go. Okay, we've got no fire in the doorway now. Oh! Rude! How dare you? You'll die for this. Can I do a piercing? No. Oh. I'm bleeding. Oh, he slipped in the blood when he died. Oh, that's so cool. I think their death animation changes depending on what surface is underneath them when they die. Because he, he properly slipped over. So if you have water or blood underneath him. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I like it. I like God, it. Sit. It's hot in here. Yeah, you're literally on fire, my love. Well, you better get moving. Couple of enemies over here. Oh, wait, only one. We can do this. Come on, Karlak. Sprint. And switch weapon. And sprint again. Okay, run, run, run. Not enough resources. What do you mean? Is it the blood? Is the is the blood a problem, or you just don't have enough move? Oh dear God, who's dying? Is that me? Oh, uh, okay, Carl. Like, if you oh you don't have an action, that's why. Okay, uh, just 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 stand here then, I guess. Oh no, you do. Okay, she just didn't like something we were doing. Get close for next turn. Don't let him get away. Ah, coward. <laughs> no, no. Okay, okay, help her. Uh, I don't think he can take a healing potion on this same time because he used his action, but I'm just going to check who has them. I definitely have some. Okay. Oh, he can, he can. There we go. Excellent. All right, now go through the blood. Watch your step, watch your step. Oh, Starry's hurt as well. Let's see if we can reach them from here. There we go. Let's play, Let's play a game. It's called You Die. 
feels good. <gasps> F5. Oh, we did it. That wasn't too bad, but ugh, I took a lot of unnecessary damage there. Oof. Let's have a little loot of this room, get everybody healed up as well. Really could use a, uh, a short rest right now. There we go. The wind back in my sails. Yeah, you look better already, Karlak. Salute all of these. So these are just like bandits, I'm guessing. Journey through the jungle. The adventures of one Baron von Baron and his goblin guide Jaw as they brave the thick jungles of cults. Baron von Baron? Wow. Oh wow, it's a proper story. The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Thalong, said Jaw. It's coming. Jaw dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest visor. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Hawoo! There it was again. Above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jaw held a finger to her lips to demand my silence. And in one motion, it snatched her. A vine? A tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaw's scream swelled, then faded as Ulu Thalo dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. Dun dun dun! I hope we can find the rest of them. There better be a part one and a part two. Send that to camp. Someone there. You can do some looting, sorry. But my bags are very full. We must take everything, for we are loot goblins. Drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. Ooh. Okay. Actually, that might be useful for Starry himself. Quick step. I wouldn't mind Karlak getting close to me. Everybody likes Karlak. I've not seen a single person who doesn't like her. The unclaimed. The sturdily bound story of a cleric of Shah whose soul was never claimed from the City of Judgment. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering her emptied mind. And when she died, when she woke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colourless gusts, but no hand materialised in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time immaterial time passed around her like air coming and going and still the goddess did not come for her devotee kalimvor pitied her as much as the lord of the dead is able but could not intervene this cleric of the lady of loss unclaimed despite her worthiness might yet have one more lesson to learn that of not forgetting whoa that not of forgetting but being forgotten. Shadow Heart? <laughs> Is that you? Oh, I have the magic touch. Attention. It might be. Who knows? Dread rightly. Just a bunch of rags. Oh, more books! Very excited when I see books in this game. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. Of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking that she'd be trouble. Little thief. Always got in everyone's business. 
and that ward of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise, a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. <laughs> this is Baldur's Gate 1 lore. So, uh, yeah, in Baldur's Gate 1, well, you're, you're eventually found out to be a child of Baal, and so is Imowen, your childhood friend. Saravok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know, this all started with a bit of iron in Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out of their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Amnion mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak that name to me. My mistress was cursed to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal. I curse Irenicus. And I curse you. Oh! Hostile vampire. Athkala slumps. <laughs> Athkatla, even. The five tore Tether to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Baal spawns showing up would fix the war a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. He is hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Saradish merchant. Retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up with the Sea Tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if a Baal spawn got it stuck to them? Their father's the killing type, after all. Fleming Fist Gauntlet, Baldur's Gate. Several more interviews follow, most of them terse. You know, I, I do wonder whether the Dark Urge is Balspawn. I wonder if, if that's the reason for you being the Dark Urge is, you know, because Bal, God of Murder, is whispering to you somehow. So I'm looking forward to that playthrough. Hey, Music Man! It's going surprisingly well today. We've not had a total party wipe going on, so life is good. Life is good. Everyone's looking very healthy. Surely if all the Barspawn died, the last one would become a god. That would cause more problems. Yes, indeed. <laughs> but I wonder if that is related uh, to the Dark Urge's story and if you have the, the chance to become the Lord of Murder. Although there was the choice at the end of Baldur's Gate 2 to become Lord of Murder, right? So if that canonically happened, then you would have to kill the last one. So curious indeed. Only the most wholesome god, the god of murder. Yeah, he's really nice. We love him. Book of the Final Breath. Dense rows of scrawled text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this, it's mo- Harsh Pinner. Laboratory explosion. Hmm? Hroth Cress, waylaid in a Neverwinter Alley. You're blocking my light. Down a re. Water, water Davian Featherlung. Hmm, very nice. So this is how they died, they're their final words. I wonder how they managed to get hold of them. Pop that in my inventory. Oink, don't mind if I do. There's some pots here, ripe for smashing. An ancient scroll. Ooh, contains the remains of an ancient ritual. Can we actually read it? Though a bloom of mold has leached the ink from most of this scroll, its beginning is still legible. The ceiling ritual. Our god cares not for petty ritual. There is only the ceiling and it is vital that we observe it with exacting reverence. On the day of the sealing, a mixture of bone and ash is consecrated. Upon the names of the dead, we spread the offering, imbuing the ink with the essence of death. Ah, oh, God. Lucky. Could be a clue to something. I just finished having my mum over for the morning and playing with the dog, and she decided to rub on the couch to erase my old roommate's dog scent from it. It now belongs to her. Now belongs to oh, her. That's it. just how it works. How delicious. A lever. What could go wrong? Oh, oh. There's someone in here. Hmm. There's also loot in here. 
Aha! Uh -huh. This, I think, links back with the other chamber. Because we couldn't open it from this side. Well, there's only one of them in here. We can take that, can't we? Alright. Keeping my head down, I will lead the way. I feel like Astarian should split from the party. At least. And then we'll go in. Starry could probably get a backstab on this guy if we go into turn based mode. Time to kill. Time to kill, my dear. Alright, tread carefully, my friend. Oh, so, how the frick is it nine o'clock right now? What happened to time? Excuse me? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> hmm, this is not such a good place to be, Starry, but you'll probably succeed at a self roll. Burn yourself. If he turns around, which he might not. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Alright, here you go. Please don't turn around. Okay, we're gonna go... I don't know if I'll be able to do sneak attack on the... Oh, I can! On the same turn. Okay, let's go. Let's go nice and easy. Get him. Get him from behind. Oh, that's some damage! my boy starry oh, i'm so proud of you oh look at all that blood oh i'm so proud well done aha the bandit's key ha 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 i'll be taking that thank you very much I can be subtle sometimes okay well um guess you don't need the rest of the party Any ways to get rid of the bloodless divas? Resting uh, and not being bitten on. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Cheese! But that will fit in my bag. Can I use the cheese as a weapon? No, camp supplies. Sad. Sad. Nice supply pack, though. Cheese wedge. Oh, dried sausage. Cheese. Get some light going on in here as well. Anything else useful hiding up here? <gasps> Portrait of Fane. Fane from Da Vinci Original Sin 2. Excruciatingly precise lines bring this portrait's undead subject to life. Despite his empty eye sockets, you could almost swear his gaze follows you. Judgmentally. <laughs> I love Fane. Let's go in my camp chest. I'm going to stick it in my camp. I wonder if I can just drop things in my camp. I haven't tried doing that. Can I decorate my camp that way? Swassage. Put that in my camp wares too. Hey, Panda. Shagorth, is that you? Hella cheese in here. I know, right? The bandits love their cheese. Down, down, down by the river. Okay, nothing else here. No more prayers. Only silence and dust. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Do you know it, Gail? Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. My game just, Dead like, time. closed. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Oh, okay. Even Gail doesn't know. That's how you know it's a, a tricky language. Cutting board. Milk. Can I take it? Oh! Sorry. G Gail, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. Dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. There's a portrait for each one, and the latest update made it say that the last few aren't counted as stealing. I haven't tried that yet, but I do wonder if I can just stick stuff in my camp, like just drop things on the floor to decorate my camp. I don't know if it will stay there, but we can try. Okay. Right away. You did so good, Starry. 
question is what's through here does it link back up with the other corridor what a day, what a day indeed well ah this is the chapel entrance okay so the other way that you get into there is by knocking on the door and the bandit's like who's that so what's the password and then sometimes they'll let you in if you can charm them enough but you still end up fighting them so we took the sneaky back way killed them before they even had a chance to know we were here what are we here the more I watch this game, the more I want to play. It's so good. So good. I'm just, uh, I could just play this forever and I know I'm going to be. Just so you know, we're doing multiple playthroughs of this game. Multiple, <laughs> like at least three. <laughs> and I really want to see how it goes if I go for some more evil options. Okay, F5. Starry's alone right now. No lock, no handle. How does it open? Oh, frustrating. Can't even lockpick it. I wonder. Can we take another short rest or are we out? Okay, we're out. Uh... Okay, everyone come here. We'll get everybody healed up because I know what's in here. If I leave Act 1, I leave what I'm used to. Yeah, for me, like, I've played Act 1 a lot of times. I didn't completely explore the dun Underdark, but I did spend some time down there. So anything beyond Act 1 is unknown territory for me, and I'm, I'm looking forward to not knowing. Because even though so much has changed, I still know vaguely what happens in all these buildings and which characters we're going to encounter. So I can't wait to be surprised. on my mind. That'll do for now. Okay. Light on my feet. Oh, these tools. Just gonna turn out some candles for no reason at all. Better not be cursed. There we go. Okay, full stealth, everyone. I started Baldur's Gate 3, but my wizard keeps eating my items, and my rogue keeps eating my party members. Oh, that's, that sounds like a very uh, difficult problem there. Uh, what kind of items has he been eating? Is it like airplane parts, or... It, it's it's a, it's a common, common defect amongst wizards. The Curse of the Vampire. Astarian, do you know this book? Hearken close and beware the vampire. Beware its cold beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble, for the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. How doth one protect from the beast? Walk not in the blackest night, for the vampire loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon and take care. Carry the blessings and marks of your god at all times. Starry's just like sniggering in the background like, like that will help. But remember, your home is a fortress if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger into your home. If it be a friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and wan? See you any mark upon their neck? See you any dirt upon their clothes? Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee, leave love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again, but they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. <laughs> I'll keep that one for Astarian to read. He'll enjoy it. So 
How many books? Yeah! <laughs> More books. In life, her service have been impeccable. We've read this. Yeah, it's about the, the Shah Priestess. We've read that one. More books. Curse of the Vampire. I'll have another copy. Why not? The Mortal View. I most accounts of the Ballspawn Crisis. Uh, yeah, we've read that. We've read that too. They really like that book here. They're just reading the same one over and over again. I wish this accounts. Why, why are they wanting to learn so much about Baal down here? Why, why are the cultists so into that? Interesting. Hey, Pierre is. He's supposed to be a completionist character of sorts. Oh, wait, your Baldur's Gate 3 character? Yeah, doing getting the coin for the mercenary jobs. Not about helping people that much out for themselves. Yeah, there is a kind of character that's not evil, but they just have more interest in themselves and only really care about themselves. Ever since I let Gail into my party. There's been tooth marks all over my magical artifacts. He just has a teething problem. Like if his teeth are sore, he'll he'll take a bite out of your magical gloves and, and things. Just, I recommend if you just like freeze a bit of leather and then give it to him, that will help him with his teething problems. Death and divinity. Oh. Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand splintered into smaller pieces disease war funeral rites but there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away for countless aeons it was jergal the lord of the end of everything presided over mortality with his unblinking stare until even he grew weary young baal bane and mirkal must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death Yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Mirkel claimed primacy over death from Jergal's bargain, but even he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal in incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Kelimvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die, after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. Indeed. So many books. So much to read. I've already read that book. I already took that out from the library. I've got a couple of copies. There we go. Okay, that is literally everything in there now. F5. Yeah, like it seems like a couple of party members have a problem with their appetites, right, Sunny? A certain vampire keeps nibbling me at night. He thinks I'm delicious. This is a deep backstory, Jacko. Oh no! Wait, so that incident changed him forever? And he became a good person? Candles. Shuffle records. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny scripts. Robian Tipple, Il Mater, drowning. Ivain Arkansan, Ogma, internal rot. Devrin Stout, Saloon, Fever. Well, these are the gods they served. You Black do not here. recognize the language on the plaque. Ah. Ha ha ha! I leave her. Excellent. I was thinking there was something else in here. Okay, F5. Let's see what's in there. He wanted to know if that backstory fits ESO or Skyrim more. Ooh. 
could fit both could fit both i think like there's a lot of mercenaries in in skyrim you know people traveling around and doing odd jobs for any like troubled area in tamriel there's there's gonna be mercenaries around i wonder let's go have a look Oh, would you look at that? The door is open. What could go wrong? Okay, Starry, you're going in here. If this isn't important. Really? Now? Yes, really. Now, get your ass in here. I swear there was a trap in here. Way! This opens the way! Down the way! We've come full circle through the dank crypt! Okay, I think that literally means we've done everything in here now. Oh, I remember there being a group of enemies in here though. There, there was a group of enemies in that main room that we were just in. There is more than meets the eye and also there is something in there. <laughs> I have a vague memory of this. There's something about like completing a ritual and bring it, bringing the items to the altar and, and that kind of thing. Oh, I have a vague memory of this. Let's see here. Everyone can unstealth now, though. Elfbot's asleep again. Grr. I don't know why he keeps doing this. There's no reason. He is alive at the beginning of stream. And then for some reason, his custom bot name disconnects. And I'm just like, what? why? Why? And I, I don't want to reconnect. It takes ages. I have to like sign in as Elfbot again every time. It's very frustrating. I will reconnect him. Bring him back to life. But yeah, I have no idea why this keeps happening. But why? I'm trying to play video games. And then he's like, ooh, ooh, mobile authentication required. Ooh, safety. Yeah, the ritual of reconnection, for sure. Dun, dun, dun. 69, 69, 69. Do, do, do. I'm gonna work now. I authorize you. You're authorized. You were authorized before. There he is. <laughs> Infernal technology. We need an engineer in here. On my way. I do wonder if that ritual book had anything to do with anything. Like. I don't know. Who has it? The Book of the Final Breath. I don't know. Because I remember there being mobs in here. Unless they just decided to, ooh. Oh no, not in space, too high. I was like, what if I put the book on the altar? But no, okay, okay. Maybe we are actually done here. Maybe we did actually find everything. Oh, I still remember there being more levers. And like, I remember there being another room past a fake wall somewhere, like hidden, like here. Or maybe I'm just imagining things. 
don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I think we found everything here, if that's the case. A fight. So I'm gonna return us to the Druid's Grove. Hello, Moogle Mug. Oh, whoops. Ooh, wait, we make, can we make a campsite in here? Oh, cool. I like it. How about Someone this? should light the fire. Oh, lovely. Oh, this is very homely. I like it. He left the rest of the party. He's like, bye. I'm going back to camp. See ya. You missed a door. There's a door behind you. This. On my way. Oh, no, we've been down there. That links back up with um, the main area where we came in. At least one of the, the entrances. So uh, that's the room with the trap on the right hand side. That we've got there. And then through here is the room with the scholar skelly. Hello, Moogle Mog. <gasps> Moogle Mog. It's 9.22. <gasps> oh my gosh. Did mum not feed you dinner at 8 p.m.? <gasps> Oh no, the evil Baldur's Gate 3 means that I forget to feed you again. <gasps> what a monster. What a monster. Let me take myself back to the, uh, the grove. How old is Moog? She just turned two. Hey, come here. She had a little birthday party on stream. We even made her a birthday cake. Ooh, it's her first birthday that she celebrated with me. I finished Act 1 in Early Access twice, so I'm just taking it very slow now the game is out. Me too, I'm in exactly the same boat. I did two playthroughs in Early Access. One goody two-shoes playthrough on a wizard, and then I did a full evil playthrough on a drow. So I'm kind of taking my time to go through everything, make sure I find everything that they changed because a lot has changed as well. There's, there's a lot of changes. Mop! She's licking my green screen. Why is that tasty? It's not tasty. No, can we not? No. No, you're gonna break it. No licky. Your food is literally downstairs. I took a break just to feed you. Yeah, and now, you were just eating my green screen instead. How dare you. If anyone doesn't follow Ophelia already, how could you not? If you've been on this channel for any length of time, I have mentioned Ophelia in some way, whether it's the D&D campaign or in an Elder Scrolls related thing. So make sure you go and follow Ophelia. Plays all sorts of games. Also is magical space waifu. If you're into your Hoyaverse games, so is she. I haven't played a Hoyaverse game for a while. There, there was a time where I was really into it and I would log on every single day and do my dailies, but I'm slacking recently. Okay, we should take a Starion back over to Emerald Coast. Ophelia, I barely know her. Wow, wow, wow. Of course wow. never. Why are we stealthing? Must be on my I am playing a druid here in Baldur's Gate 3. I'm a, a druid wood elf. And I am exceedingly uwu. This was not the plan that I had when I went into character creation. I was going to make quite a serious druid who respects nature and everything. But somehow I ended up coming out looking like Deesa from the Winx Club. Don't question it. It may have been the influence of Barbie being in theatres right now, um, but I'm blonde with pink highlights. This hairstyle was just too good to ignore. I had to choose it. I had to. Let's go sell some stuff. Uh, let me in. Thank you. Druids. Dum, 
need anything else? So did my chair move? I think my chair moved. I'm escaping. I'm escaping from the screen. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm back where I should be. I'd like to see your wares. Those who follow the first circle. Oh, thank you, new. Uh, is there? I don't know if there's like a quick button for just automatically putting everything marked as trade into the. But they're easily enough marked, so you can kind of see at a glance. <laughs> Why am I just carrying around random plates? It's money. It's some money. Broken spear shaft plate. Bloodstone. I don't know whether this is used in a recipe. I don't think so. Even if it is, I'm sure I can find some in Baldur's Gate. Idol of Saloon. Give it to Shadowheart. She'll hate it. Yay. That'll do it. All right. Might be able to get it for slightly cheaper, but you know, I'll do it. I'm getting rich. 1,000 gold on me. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, yeah, someone's asking about Discord streaming and whether it'll be more intensive on your PC to watch a stream on Discord or on Twitch. Um. I think honestly Twitch would probably be the most stable, but it depends if you want everyone else to be able to see it or not. You can do unlisted streams, so it doesn't show up in the directory. So unless someone's like following their channel, they, they wouldn't know that they were live. Um, but Discord obviously will be a private stream if you're just like hanging out and playing games together. But yeah, I think um, OBS and like the stuff that you need to run a stream will be more intensive on your computer. You would be better off if you don't have an amazing computer just like streaming on Discord. I think that's probably the easiest way to go. Sylvanas be with you. And with you. I don't know if that's the appropriate response there. I'd be afraid to create a hero who is, let's just say, not pretty. The thing is like, not every hero has to look like they're a fashion model. Sometimes I challenge myself to create the weirdest looking character I can. I kind of need to go and check in with Halston. Wait, there was something else I was going to do here. Let's check my journal. Githyanki Crash. We use the power of our parasite to exert an influence beyond ourselves. How far does this power go? We found a special parasite like our own. We were drawn to its potential. <laughs> Embrace your potential. Embrace the evil side. We need to find Halcyn, but there are a couple other things I want to go and check out. Daughter of Darkness. Find the dark justice. Just I'm never going to be able to say that word. Justicia's lair. Shadowheart has shown interest in finding the layer of the Dark Justicia, an elite force dedicated to her goddess, Shah. I know where that is. I shan't tell. Hellion's heart. Ah, yeah. On the Githyanki crash. I'm gonna head over this way. See if we find anything else on the way though. But this is where we think we might find Infernal Iron. BP! BP, thank you so much for willingly handing over your soul and giving me that precious Prime subscription. I'm honoured that you'd want to use it here. Welcome to the Wisps. Enjoy your immortality, all of your elf emotes, and of course that juicy ad-free viewing. Welcome on in. Okay, hey, let's make our way there. It'll take some going to best Mr. Strife Hayes' Oblivion character. I don't know if I've seen this creation. Although I raise you Ophelia's, um, was it Morrowind character? I think it's, it was Morrowind when he created a really messed up character. She was beautiful. 
She would lack an oompa loompa of justice. It was oblivion. All right. Well, Ophelia wins. <laughs> Midges. Shouldn't nature be no competition. And it looks so nice in the other city parks. Upper city, huh? Swish. Never spent much time there myself. I'll happily take you if we survive this bug's banquet. Oh, disgusting. Mm, sounds good. I've always been curious what a Patreon loo looks like. Oh, lovely. Let's go straight to the Golden Village. Oh no, go straight to the uh, Infernal Iron in the Golden Village. Lovely. I'm not ready for Goblin Village. Oh my god. Or maybe I am. There's a very hard fight as soon as you get into Goblin Village. I'm gonna kind of explore down here as well and see if there's not another way through. Oh! Another Prime Soul this way comes. Gorna! Gorn, thank you! I'll be taking that soul of yours if you don't mind. The terms and conditions were listed very clearly and very small underneath the subscribe button. Enjoy eternal life for the next 30 days. And I am honored to have you as a wisp. God, there's so much stuff here. I have a feeling if I go up to that gate, they might see me. But I really want to loot this tiefling. Oh, oh, we should stealth. Uh, Starry, go in. Go in by yourself, my boy. Come on. You're not gonna stealth? Oh, there we go. Not a sound. Not a sound. Ooh, there's mushrooms. Oh, hello, mushroom. Hello, hello. I can smell trouble ahead. Oh, sourdough. Mm. Moonhaven. Yeah, good old Moonhaven. Doesn't get better than that. Dawn, tell me why I blushed when Astarian called me sweetheart. Oh, you just wait. Quiet. Hello, you. Hello, you. Nothing like a brisk stroll Sh through the Stop, forest. Stop, Gale. I'm sleep. having a moment with Astarian. Hush her down. Oh my thing, god, guys. But less poetically. <sighs> okay. Without so much as a stir. Gail, shut up. Temples. Shh. A girl could get used to this. Shush. Something smells tasty. You're tasty. Ready? Yeah, you are. Keep your plate close. Time for a little dip. Hmm? Time to kill. Ready? Aww. Time for a little death. Shall we? Yes, we shall. Hello, you. Hello, darling. He's always making me blush. I do love him. All right. Well, we, we're not going to go directly into the goblin village because we do not have a death wish quite yet. So we're going to skirt our way around and check out this path down here. Such ASMR. You all need therapy. We, I do. <laughs> she called this out in that TikTok. I was like, yeah. Yeah, you're right. We all do. Thank you. Something good here, I hope. Maybe I should bring that up in my ne next session. Like, look, there's this incredibly damaged vampire boy. I have a massive crush on. And he's only using me. Like, he just wants to suck my blood. But I still can't bring myself to tell him to fuck off. Because I think he's really hot. I wonder I wonder what my therapist would say. Hmm. Ooh, that? yeah. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. This is what confuses me, because I swear the badger is supposed to be able to burrow, but I tried it somewhere else and it didn't work. But we'll try it here. Uh, you are the And then I'm gonna go back to badger mode. <clears throat> Should mind my step. There we go. Need burrow? Use that? 
And we have to do the specific burrow action. Oh! <laughs> no! This doesn't work the way I thought it worked. Um, no. Okay. No, I need a shovel. Apparently the badger's not good enough. Throw it into the ground. That's where you come up, but do I have to stand on it and then, like, I point at target destination? I don't seem to be able to interact with it either. Oh, sad times. Yeah, maybe this doesn't work the way I think it works. One more try, just for fun. Meh. I guess he's just for combat then. Like, he goes under, under walls and things and, like, knocks people prone. Could be useful for getting into somewhere that's locked, potentially, as well. That's a point. I haven't tried using my badger form on some locked doors that we can't get through right now. I should try that. Oh, well. I'll stay as a badger for now. Come on, everyone. We're going on an adventure. Follow the badger. He will lead you to great things. That goes all the way up to goblin camp. I don't remember going... Oh! <laughs> oh, I do remember! Okay, we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna stay away from there for now. Um, I very much do remember that place. I'm gonna stealth around Goblin Camp and see if we can't find... Oh! Oh! Oh no! Shit! Bloody badger! <laughs> they don't know that it's me! They're just like, oh my god, a badger! Where are you going? Where are you going? You want to talk to me? Fine. You are unable to speak. What? Why? What? Why are you guys friendly? I'm confused. Hello. Hello and welcome to Bogrot. Oh, lovely. Now, kindly, give all your stuff. As the now, nah, I'll give you some. Power courses through you. Authority. No thanks. Um, Bogrot. What is that? It's a fine day, my friend. Why spoil it with killing? They love killing. They're goblins. They align as evil. <laughs> they don't mind. That is a good day for them. Nice town. I'll wipe my feet on your corpse before entering. You do not give orders to me. Oh, I would have to use my Olithid power again, but that would be kind of cool. Yeah, you don't give orders to Astarian. Really easy as well. So easy to be evil. A true soul. Right. Uh, welcome to Bug Rock. Oh, thanks. Something stirs deep within you, hungry and alert. <gasps> it's taking something you'll never get back. This action will have consequences. Or whatever you want to call it. It's your town now. <laughs> oh, thanks. Cool. Um, we got ourselves a town, guys. All right, Badger's moving in. I packed my little Badger knapsack. To speak. Hi, everyone. Are they, are they coming with us? Or are they just, they're just chilling? Okay. Hello everyone, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Gail is apparently not best pleased with this. I'm sure you're perfectly delightful. I can't talk right now. Why not? Let's move. He wants to talk to me, but I'm a badger now, Gail. I'm badgering. I'll take the barn. Trust me, you do not want to go in there right now. You don't want to go in there. <laughs> should we should we go check out the barn? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I wonder how that situation is gonna play out whilst I'm a badger. Let's go see. What could happen? Nothing bad. My feet can carry me. All right. Okay, this is uh, our new house, uh, just through here somewhere. Scream all you like! <laughs> Nobody's listening. I'm listening. Oh. But what's that noise from the barn? Maybe someone's moving hay bales around. I'll look around the back, see if we can spy anything. Hmm, still that noise. I wonder what's going on in there. Hmm. 
Someone's kneading dough? Yes, very aggressively. They're making buns. Uh, knock knock, badger here. <laughs> oh no! Wait, they just immediately started fighting. You used to be able to talk to them. What happened? Wait, what? Hang on, hang on, hang on. I think it's because I was a badger. So I can't talk to them. So it just skips the cutscene. It's like, no, badgers don't get conversation. That's not how it works. I wanted to be a badger in conversation whilst they explained to me what they were doing. And I was just there like, badger, 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 badger. Maybe as a badger, I could have joined in. Round and round. At the ready. Okay, let's anti-badger. Goodbye. Hmm, who do I want to witness this cutscene the most? I would love to see how a Starian Simple reacts to this, stars. so let's let's be a Starian. Hello, hello. Yoo-hoo! Wait, are they going to be full dogs? Oh, my apologies. I, I didn't mean to interrupt. Fluent. Smash. Oh, smash. Yo! They've got their undies on. I thought I had full dongs on. Where, where's my Gruco dong and my Boothy dong? Well, they're gonna smash us anyway. That's awkward. Yeah, they were fucking. That's what they were doing in here. They're having a good old fucky fuck. Um, yeah, Nastarian being the only one who's serious is not fantastic. I'm gonna leave and I'm gonna sell. Time for a new brunch. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna just sit outside here and hope that they forget we exist. Are we one actually in be a gentleman? the combat right now? Like, grease him up. Oh, they were getting nice and greasy already. But let's add a little bit more lube in there. Oh, yeah. Knocked him down. There is a way that you can convince them um, with, a, with a high enough roll. Uh, you're able to be like, that was some pathetic banging. I've never seen worse banging in my life. And then they get really offended and they're like, oh, just go now then. How dare you? So you can actually do that. It's possible. And go up here to get some paint. And what are you doing, Karlak? Not your turn, eh? Oh, still your turn, Starry. Just hide there. Swords meet sorcery. Uh, turn around, Gail. Thanks. Get Why is Gail injured? Ninja! What a moment for Ninja to come in. Ninja smells innuendo, I swear. You're just getting me in during the sexiest cutscene so far. Good to see you, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Have you been playing some Baldur's Gate 3? I'd love to see you playing Baldur's Gate 3. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Do I want to run in there? Is that really wise? No, let them come out. Let them come to me. I'll be ready for them. And then I'll hold my Bye. action until next turn. Oh, I can't. Oh, <laughs> you already used my action. Okay, fine. Stay here and get good. Anything else that I want to do? Improvised melee weapon. Pick up an item or creature used to make a melee attack. Throw a character. Oh yeah, throw an item from your inventory. What should we throw at them? Mm, cheese. Throw this cheese at her. Can I? Can I reach her from here? This'll help. <laughs> yeah, take that. You take that cheese. That's what you get for fucking in a public place. Okay, I am Badger. Can I burrow underneath her and like knock her out as I unburrow? She's a little bit too far. I could probably, I can move a little bit and then to get the positioning right. They definitely didn't. Hey! They had size differences, so it's awkward. Oh, I can't burrow anymore. Great. 10 out of 10 badgering. All right, I'll just, I'll just leave then. Bye. <laughs> I wanted to be useful for her, right then. Shoot her in the leg. Yes, yeah, starry slay. And get back there. I don't fancy their chances. Gail was ready for them to come up here. I, I kind of need to like throw fire at it though to get it lit. So 
Uh, I've got enough movement to do that this turn. No. Anything else I can throw that's lit? Or any other nasty things I can put down? I mean, I can I can add more grease. <laughs> Not that they need it. Uh, Alchemist's fire. To be honest, I'll just wait here with Gale. Because they have to make a bunch of checks to even get through this. Have you got anything fiery to throw? The void bulbs create fire, don't they? Mmm, acid. Coats it in caustic brine. Didn't we have, like, fire in a bottle somewhere? Somewhere? I have a growing list of planned playthroughs for this game. One of them is Gift Thick Tail, Barbarian Dragonkin. Yes! You got to do it! Yes! Um, can we can we please play Baldur's Gate 3? But as the season one party. So like Gift Thick Tail, Kara as a wizard, obviously. We just get to use the same classes. We can't really do Kajaji. I don't know, it's gonna be hard to do Kajaji, isn't it? But I guess she could play her current campaign character instead and play a druid. And then Ophelia, what do you want to be? <laughs> Ophelia gets to pick anything she likes. That's this is how it'll work. But yes, please. Can we make this happen? Ay, 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 ay. The scroll of burning hands. I mean, that's not going to help because that's a touch based spell. I'm just going to type fire. Alchemist's fire. Excellent. Wait, whose turn is it? Carlax. You can do that, Carlax. You can give that a throw. Mm, can you not? I guess you can't take it directly from their inventory. So send it to Carlax. And then Carlax is going to throw the Alchemist's fire. Got it. Yeah. Get slayed. Heck yes. Okay. And she's going to wait here. Oh, she's a big girl. Oh my god. She hits very hard if she gets to you. So, I always kind of kited in this fight. Oh, you, you, I'm going to burrow underneath you. You watch out. The badge is coming. Can I not burrow here? Not enough space. What do you mean? Okay, I think it will knock over all enemies in the area though. So, let's do it here. It's badger time. Oh, it saved against my burrowing. Can I just slap you? Slap you next turn. Starry, if you could get the hell out of here, that yes. would be very good. That would be advisable. And then you're gonna do a sneak attack. Boom, 18 damage. Nice, Starry. I'm proud of you. Okay. And then he can hide again on the same turn because rogue things. So I'm gonna take him up here. And now, what are they weak to? You can examine them and see. When you miss an attack, you deal four bludgeoning damage anyway. Great. Love it. Damage increased by 1d6 because ogre. Excellent. Currently burning. 12 AC. Okay. Wonder if I can make her laugh. <laughs> ha, ha, ha. So she's standing rolling around on the floor because I'm just so funny and she can't stop laughing. He hasn't done anything yet. He's been useless. I think he's confused because of the fire. Uh, and while she's down, I... Karlak's spell slot is taken, but I'm going to do a lacerate. Take that. She's busy laughing, but she saved on that throw, so she's fine now. And I'm gonna use my claws. It didn't do anything. Wow, the badger has been so useful this fight. Yay! <laughs> so good. Woohoo! Gail is my grease boy. Yeah, I, I just make him use grease on every single fight and then light it with a cantrip. Welcome here, fire. You came to the right place. You have fire in your name. I am very much a fan of fire. If I'm playing a wizard, fireballs everywhere. 
Yeah, you can use food as weapons. Salami. There's very specific ones that actually act as a main hand weapon, but anything you can throw. You can throw anything. If you have a hard cheese, you can throw it. All right, sorry. Finish her. Boom! Is he still in? He's still in there. Okay. How much health does he have? 27. Oh, he's going to be easy to kill. I'm so sorry I killed your girlfriend. I'm really sorry. I know you were having a good time. Imagine that, having some hanky-panky. And then an adventuring party comes along and kills you. It's just rude, really. Oh, and they had a romantic dinner planned. I bet they had a picnic up here and they feasted on this meat. And then they were like, well, would you like go into stable and how fucky fuck? And then they did. And it was really romantic and it was the best night of her life. And he thought he was never going to love again after his last wife died in a tragic mining accident. And now I feel bad. I tried to talk to them. I did. They did this to themselves. What is he doing? Hello? Would you like to get smushed? Oh, wait. Uh, I wasn't close enough. Excellent. Well done, me. I'm going to shove him back in. <laughs> get back in there. Where you belong. Catch my breath. The badge is coming for you. I'm going to burrow on your baby. Oh, uh, uh, not enough movement. Why? Why? <laughs> I think cause it's partially behind the door, so we have to like move out and then burrow, maybe. Knock him on his ass! Wee! Okay. That was ineffectual. Very nice. Excellently done. Over here. Over here. Quick now. That was some good damage, Starry. Excellent. Stealth again. He's the way of the rogue. The lance board is set. Right, wizard gizzard. May it please, Mistra. I would like to punt the gnome. It's Gruko's turn. What's he gonna do? Slap the badger. Oh, so rude. But it's okay. She's got this. Ranged attack? Finish him. Ah, oh, she's not too good with ranged. I should have just gone in for a slap. I'm gonna push him. Push is actually incredibly useful. No choice but to keep going. Okay. 40% chance to hit. Why? What is he wearing? He's basically naked. Is it fur resistance? I could whip him. Might whip him. Improvise weapon. Can I slap him with a box? I'm just playing with the man now. <laughs> sure. Can I... Okay. <laughs> okay, I had to try. Okay, Starry, you can finish him. I think you've got a, a ranged stealth attack back. Boom! A bugbear and an ogre. Me neither. Oh, I've seen worse. Gnomes can be... Mmm, gnomes, right. We should kick them all. It's the way to go. Mm. Hey, Opaline. I'm here like that one meme, like, y'all got any more of those Baldur's Gate 3? Hey, hey, come around back. I've got, I've got like 10. Come on, come here. I've got some Baldur's Gate 3 for you. I love it. It's impossible not to think of Baldur's Gate every moment of every day. I, I, I can't escape. I just always want to play it. Oh, hi, Starlet. Did you steal my top again? I think you'll find, Miss Blossom, that I own this top well before you, and I will be suing you for copyright. Me and Starlet both own this top. And sometimes I see her go live wearing this, and I'm like, that's my top. Put that back in my closet, Starlet. How dare you? We own a lot of the same clothing, I swear, because we're, we're both into kind of fantasy-ish 
cottagecore inspired fashion, I think. So anything that's like a peasant style top or with cold shoulder, we own it. Like I have a set of uh, tops from a human store known as New Look, from which you purchase new looks. It's a very logical name. And it has cold shoulders and I have it in pink and red and what's the other color, white. And I, I think Starlet also has those tops. Like they've been a staple of my wardrobe since I got them years ago. Hydrate has been redeemed. Cheers. Let's have a loot. See if they left us anything nice. F5. I'm really sad that I didn't get more of a conversation with them. Ah, glad you have a moment for me. My, nah, I don't um, really. Predicament has become rather urgent. I need a magical artifact to consume right now. Get it yourself. I've already found enough magic to soothe its disquiet. If you'll just give me what I need. You have a problem, Gail. You need to get some help. Get some help. Uh, what will happen to this item should I give it to you? The items you want are more used to me unconsumed. You can't have anything yet. I can't just now. Bear with me, please. Yeah, what's gonna happen? You're just gonna destroy it, aren't you? I will consume the magic inside. What was a powerful artifact will be rendered no more than a trinket. But it will save my life. Even if only temporarily. Okay. I don't know what to give you, though. The Sword of Justice sounds pretty good, so we should probably keep that. A Shattered Flail? Oh, Yonogu's Gift. Hitting an enemy with this weapon heals the wielder. That's really good. Give some Dancing Lights. Astarian's currently wearing a couple of these. When the wearer has 50% hit points or less, they don't provoke opportunity attacks. That's good as well. When the spear misses its target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strikes. They can't miss. This stuff's all really good. I don't want to give it to you. You don't deserve it. He's quite needy. He's literally quite needy. We have a lot of people in our party who need feeding. Karlak needs feeding as well. But with the precious coins... Hey, Silky, welcome on in. Uh, the flail? No, the flail looks good. Kamira's locket. I mean... Dancing lights is a cantrip. Like, Gail can always learn how to do it and Will can learn how to do it. So maybe this. Donate. Oh, are you telling me you want more than that? Can I just give you that? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh, it glows now as well. Oh, cool. Are you going to tell oh. me exactly how this happened? That hit the spot. You're very welcome. I can feel it work. The magic, it's like a lullaby that sings to sleep the demon inside. A metaphorical demon, I haste to point out, but no less dangerous. And no less bound to wake up again to continue its ravages. Such is the nature of all monsters. Mm. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better, but your condition sounds unpleasant, to say the least. How do I know the real monster isn't you? True. Perhaps now you'll tell me what all this is in aid of. I made a very kind donation to the Foundation. Grateful as I am, the course of our camaraderie is oh, much better on. served by not taking that particular detour. Not just yet. Sincerely, though, I understand I ask a lot from you with few answers in return. But in time, all will be told. Is this your first playthrough with Gale in the group? Oh no, he's always been in the group. I know his dark secret. I know his dark secret. I know what happens later on. Hmm... Don't mention it. I'm glad I could help. You can eat my magic items anytime. That condition of yours, it's a very expensive one. I obtained it in Waterdeep. Nothing there comes cheap. Mm-hmm. 
Oh my gosh, we have all the cool humans in chat right now. Starlet's in chat, Ophelia's in chat, Ninja's in chat. If you don't follow these humans, make sure you go and do that. Do it right now, or a star will suck you. I'm sure all will be revealed in time, but I don't like it. A waste of perfectly good treasure. I agree. We could have made some money. You can feed on me tonight, if you'd like. No, no, we should be careful, okay? We, we gotta be careful. We we already we already did a suck suck last night. You can't be sucking every night. You need some rest. I wonder if the gods are watching me. The realm according to Bumpo. Bumpo, eh? Where's Bumpo's book? Did I pick it up? I think I did. Bumpo. There we go. The book naturally falls to a dog-eared page in which Bumpo describes the more unusual races he's met in his travels. But they aren't half so strange as the bird folk. First arrow crocra I met had the head of a parrot, the body of a human, and the wings of a parrot. I tried not to stare, but it was real hard. Turns out she was one of the motley party, because around her table were a tabaxi, cat folk, a ganasi, element folk, and a turtle, turtle folk. And that uh, felly, uh, fella zeros. Uh, one of them as well. Uh, strange creatures, them. Thank you so much for your soul, Fell. Enjoy the immortality and all of our emotes and that glorious ad free viewing. I will keep your soul very safe in return. 30 days of extra life you never otherwise would have had for the small price of your soul. Also, hi, Glenn. Hello. Have you been enjoying your playthrough with Starlet? How chaotic is she? I'm, I'm guessing I'm guessing she just sets everything on fire and, and pisses everybody off. There's too much sass in Starlet to just like negotiate nicely with people. It's not gonna happen. Trying to act casual, I asked what the hell they were. They ignored me. I can't blame them. To them, I must have looked awfully dull and average, for they were the first of their kind I'd seen. But I was just one of a billion boring humans to them. I wondered if it was like his diary, like the guy we just killed. Ooh, arrow of arcane interference. Break your target's concentration in silence. Ooh, this is nice. And an Ilmata arrow as well. She's bad as fuck, not gonna lie. Every, every game she plays is like a car crash, sadly. <laughs> wow! Wow! Well, her character and your character are gonna have to have a 1v1 duel. We'll see who wins. We'll see who's worthy. What's he got on him? Can we take his underwear? Javelin, Javelin, Morning Star. <laughs> Well, I know what they were into. There's only one reason he's got all of that on his person right now. And it's because it was part of his special time with his big ogre girlfriend. She loved the ladle. And sometimes she was feeling particularly spicy. Oh, she liked that morning star. Oh, and it being impaled with a javelin. Oh, that's just the best. And two javelins, so uh, it can impale both ways. <laughs> she loved it. Oh, yeah. She said, stick it to me. Oh, yeah, baby. That's uh, not a great mental image. Here she is, the lady herself. Booth here. Let's loot her. Oh, she just had some gold on her. Oh. Nothing exciting on her. Look at the size of her hand. She's huge. I'm glad she didn't get to melee us very much because that could have ended badly. I have a very visual mind. Sometimes that's a good thing. Same here. Sometimes not so much. I'm gonna check for like buried things back here. That's nice. Oh, got eggs. I'll take them. I can't believe I just walked into the goblin camp this easily. But I did have to use my illithid powers which is going to have consequences later on 
I may regret doing that. Also, I do really like the fight at the Goblin Village. It's a fun fight. And you've got lots of goblins up on the rooftops as well. So it's the first time you're really having to deal with ranged enemies up high, getting the attack bonus on the, the height attacks. So it's, it's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. F5. I'm going to do a big save here. Uh, if I can, can I do a big save? There we go. A post Ogrefracken save. And I think this is where I have to leave it for tonight. I don't want to. I don't want to go. But I've got things going on in the morning and I have to wake up kind of early. 